Welcome my people. Once the first person clicks in, we will get it crunk this morning because today was an absolute stunning day. Welcome to my people and we thank you guys for watching and tuning in to the fight show. And today happens to be Sunday, the day after Tyson Fury trumps the sports world and becomes the number one heavyweight champion of this era and welcome once again everyone from the uk we totally have set up in a different locale so we're enjoying every single moment and i hope you guys take the time to realize that what he did last night was nothing short of dynamic to be in front of the absolute most dangerous individual in the world and take it right to them. You cannot measure the metal of a man who can climb in between the ring. But furthermore, when a man who has the boxing cachet to change up the entire game plan and add a dynamic wrinkle to it, that no one felt like he could really accomplish. Today we're going to give you a breakdown and give you clarity as to what exactly happened. In the title you can see it's titled Audible. That's one of the first things I want you to process today. The word Audible and why the guys that are under our tutelage will not have this situation happen to them. But before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself. For those of you who have never been on my feed, how you doing? And shame on you. My name is Eric A. Bradley, a.k.a. The Real Fight Doctor. And there is no other on this level. Now back to the topic at hand. Audible. We call plays in football. We call plays in basketball. Guys who are legendary like Dean Smith operate on an optimal level when it comes to the game plan. But you must have an athlete prepared the right way in order to carry out the plan. The word is audible. Listen close. When you have a figure like Deontay, the one key thing that he possesses is not just power, but is speed. Remember the key word. The key word is audible. When you take away your speed to add an attribute like weight, size, muscle mass, people, this is boxing. When you looked at Tyson Fury, you didn't see a heavily masked man. You saw a big man. Okay? The exercise training to develop Active muscle is not the same as when you're trying to gain size muscular. That comes with a price. And let me tell you exactly what happens when you add muscle in boxing. Coaches, I want you to really listen close so you do not make mistakes. Those who are enrolled in our online school of boxing, the university will guide you guys right. But this is just a tidbit for you to take Coming from the horse's mouth, when you lift weights, barbell training, trying to mass up, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to experience on the night of the fight, hyperemia. Listen to me, hyperemia. It's when the blood masses up in an area, pumps it to its full capacity and what is the benefit of hyperemia? Well, if you are a bodybuilder, it makes you look stacked. That's fine. That's all good and, good and dandy. But the residual effect for bodybuilders is they don't have to move a lot. They don't have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another athlete. They pose. So it's fine. The more expanded their muscles are the better the more they feel themselves every lymph node with blood that makes them look better 
But when you fight, the flip side of that is what we call lactic acid. Last night when you saw Deontay Wilder, he never picked his hands up above here because the first thing you noted is that he was pumped and that's hyperemia. But remember the other word, audible. Stick with it because I'm going to bring it full circle for you. The audible is something that you must understand has to come into play as this night plays out. Tyson Fury brought in an audible, added a wrinkle. So in order for you to carry that out, you have to have game plan A, B, and C. So he went back to the school, old school, the foundation of boxing, and gathered the knowledge from the Kronk Gym's leaders, the Manual Stewart Manual of Boxing, basic fundamental foundation. We constantly educate you guys. I, with my team, my people, my coaches that are under our tutelage, to give them clarity on what you're going to see. What You can teach all the techniques and skills all you want to, but one thing that you cannot prepare for if you don't understand the playlist of fighting is audible and Deontay Wilder lacked the ability to add a wrinkle that would be able to that he would be able to play out in his team. When you saw Tyson Fury, the first thing that you did not pay attention to, because that's not your job, you don't get paid, is he controlled the range in which he fought the fight. When you can control the range in which you fight the fight, when you are a bigger man, you are more versed to control the distance in which you fight at. At 85 inch reach, you can control any foe. Lennox had one of the longest reaches in boxing history. His was 84. One inch trumps that with Tyson Fury at 85 inches. No matter how long Deontay Wilder looks, he is 83 inches in wingspan. What you cannot make up for is that two inches when you have a pugilist like Tyson Fury that understands, I can stand right in front of you, son, and I can control the narrative of this fight, putting pressure on you, mental pressure on you. The only thing... Like I'm going to tell my coaches right now and all of my coaches, I want you to make sure that you hashtag the school of boxing, T-S-O-B, so they'll understand that you are the guys, because there are fighters watching the feed, that you are the guys that they can come to because you are under the tutelage of the king of audibles, understanding how Tyson Fury can control that you have to know how to audible when a person has you at distance. You don't have the next day to figure it out. The audible book must be front and center. My guys have audibles. The thing that has to happen when someone is controlling your distance, there was a style created. And this is exactly why I teach and I teach with Fixing with a true dedicated passion and clarity so that when you are in a position, we utilize this posture and it's called the peekaboo created by not only Castiamato, but the late great Archie the Mongoose, old Mongoose Mora. When you look at someone who has the abilities to keep you at bay, your objectivity is to close the gap. What other style closes the gap? What fighter proved that closing the gap with a much larger fighter can totally change the complexity and level every play in every, every, every advantage? The playing field is level. Mike Tyson showed you how it's done. Floyd Patterson didn't have the uh, opportunity to fight much larger fighters because back in the 40s and 50s, the biggest heavyweights were like 6'1", 6'2", 
two. That's not someone that you really have to level the playing field and close the gap. So one of the audibles, keyword being audible, that Deontay Wilder lacked was the ability to figure out how to get past that first jab, slide. My guys, give me a thumbs up when you know that we go over this. When you see that jab, you slide. When you see that jab again, you slide and you jab under the jab. And then when he throw the right hand, you slip here. And at the same time, the next time you see that, you deliver the right hand. So it looks like this and over the top like that. You're countering. So you're what you're called taking out. the. You're taking the play away from the fighter who's dominating, controlling range. The next point is... Fury mixed up his attack once he realized that Deontay Wilder had no answers for his mental pressure, his faints. Faints create anxiety. Your heart rate increases. Back to the word, hyperemia. So if your heart is pumping harder, your muscles are getting tighter. He never even holds his hands up high anyway, speaking of Deontay Wilder. But they even drop further. You never even saw him throw a volume a punch that you could remember because even in the first fight he was corbantic which means he was wild and crazy and that's the edge he has going into a fight but remove that and let hyperemia settle into your muscle and the dexterity of your fibers preventing you from defending yourself or finding the holes, taken away, and you extracted the thing that you had in your favor, which is speed. And in boxing, if you don't have speed, you must have proper timing. All right? Key word that we're sticking with, audible. Remember this. As we move forward, what you will notice is that Tyson Fury did something that he knew Deontay Wilder and them would not be prepared for. I'm going to be in front of you, but I'm going to be at the distance I want to fight. And at the next stage of this, I'm going to mix up my attack. So when you think I'm coming here, I'm going to take it low to the body and rake you back up. So it's called a mixed attack. Once you start to see the guy get more defensive, which Deontay Wilder did, because huh, when you have an audible playbook, you can... Expect that to happen. The mental pressure starts to elude and starts to suck the energy out of you. The hyperemia, the lactic acid helps prevent you from being who you are. That's why he looked like he did not know his own name last night. Everybody's trying to figure out what happened. What was wrong with him? You know what was wrong? He was Roy Williams going up against Coach K. He was just against a much smarter corner. And that, my friend, was my reservation of picking him to win because preparation is king, but having your corner intact, there is nothing that trumps that. And when you have a much more versed corner, you will find the results being different. If you go back to Errol Spence versus Sean Porter, Errol Spence's corner did not really expect Sean to be as strong as he was for as long as he was, there was concern. Coach James, great coach, coach of the year, has worked with some of the best fighters in this era right here. He understands, man, you got to come with game plan B. And that's one of the reasons Errol Spence is able to continue to trump those moments. Because Sean Porter came to win. I actually was on the game planning committee with that. So there was going to be a lot of variables. And if you take this with a grain of salt, you have to understand that whenever your corner lacks the strategy to execute and come with the proper game plan, there must be something added. 
and Tyson Fury prior to the fight knew that he did not have the level of experience in his corner to give him the proper audibles. I said, stick to that word because that word is king. It's the difference in a fight of that magnitude, which crowns the prime minister of all men. The weight, you just don't go put on 20 pounds of mass and not expect a form of residual effect. Now I'm going to give you a little knowledge on how to put on your weight if you're going to do this. Not with linear movement and training, but functional motions, active exercise training. So medicine balls, throwing, chopping real wood, the Archie Moore, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman way. That was not just a placebo effect. If you're going to gain weight, you eat the necessary nutrients in order to help the body mass up. Do not do any exercises that will cause you to have muscle dysfunction, which is hyperemia. I hope you guys are really listening. And no, you just don't wake up in the morning and know this. We have a university of boxing and our coaching is absolutely exceptional when they're in their learning process. But when you are prepared to fight, you get someone in your corner like someone who's from the lineage of great, the late Emmanuel Stewart. And that's what Sugar Hill was. He was the difference in the fight. Tyson Fury knew he had to get back to the basics. He used his his distance. He knew his boxing IQ. He used his ring cachet. He made Deontay Wilder not remember that his name was Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. And he also brought a wrinkle to the game. Mental pressure controlling the action, the weight. And that's what came into play a little later on in the fight when he started to lean on him. It was after he broke down the first tiers of Deontay Wilder's game plan. First, you have to have the key to get into the home. And then you open the door. And once you're in, you can take anything you want. So don't just act as if he could have just walked in the front door. He had to take the play away. He saw that Deontay Wilder was stronger, but he also realized he's carrying much more weight. Those guys, they were prepared for battle. Deontay Wilder was merely expecting the fight to go the same way the last one did. He thought his only thing that he had to deal with would be that Tyson Fury would be easier to land on and that where he was wrong and before you take the next leap of faith and walking down that out and I'm talking to you coaches and you fighters who are on the way up the ladder whether you are an amateur getting ready to fight into the in the Olympics or if you are just crossing over into the level of pro. You better understand this. One thing about this game boxing. And one thing again. If you don't have the audible book. You will also meet a knight like Deontay Wilder did. If you do not have the structure. The format and the formulas in your corner. You best make an adjustment. Because I will explain clearly that no one's going to give you a knight that can crown them as the greatest in this era to have done it and to trump the former lineal king. And that was enough for Tyson Fury to make sure that he was prepared. For battle by having the proper audibles. Now, today we tip our cap to Tyson Fury. Because today marks the first day 
that he is truly crowned prime minister of all men. That's all I got for right now. Let me know where you are. Drop it down in the comment box below. Coaches, fighters, if you need to understand how to approach the game of boxing, not just skills and skill sets, the audible books on how to operate in the moment of triumph in that ring, follow us. TheSchoolOfBoxing.com. Until next time, be blessed at God's speed. Tip our hats off to Tyson Fury. Much prayers go to Deontay Wilder. A speedy recovery. And the world of boxing. Stand up. Win first. It's boxing for the win. Peace.